Okay, so today we are going to be tying the Jim Special Hair Jig. This is a bucktail jig that I saw on In Fisherman TV uh, that Doug Stang was using for smallmouth bass, and that's what this particular jig is going to be used for. Uh, it's a brightly colored jig and is meant to get some get their attention. Um, I've also used it uh, to tie for a fluke, and uh, you can see that at the end of the video that I uh, used a half ounce jig. Uh, for the fluke and um, on that day it was the only thing that worked actually so um, so it was effective anyway in the vise we have a 1 8 ounce aspirin style head and I'm going to tie on uh, with some red thread here I recommend using uh, 210 uh, flat wax nylon if you have it because it, it will build up the base for the uh, collar and um, you want to build up a base real quick. Um, so uh, in this case, I'm using 140 denier because that's all I have. So let's start with our wraps. I'm going to try something new with this jig um, that I haven't tried yet. I'm going to put a little bit of a, uh, you know, if you notice in the videos and in Fisherman, um, you'll notice on this section here there's a bit of chenille and that is to hold on to the scent so I'm gonna do that this time so we're gonna tie down about to the point of the hook a little farther actually I'm gonna go down to the bend You want to leave a little bit of space so that you can put on your um, your soft plastic trailer. So we have some fluorescent chenille here. This is a fluorescent speckled tinsel uh, fluorescent green chenille. So I like to strip a little bit of the end off here so that I can tie in just like so. And again, so this is just to hold on to some of the scent. This chenille that I'm using is actually crappie chenille. Uh, so the it's kind of small. It's like a size two or three. I'm not really sure. Um, you would do better using a thicker chenille if you have it. This is all I have right now. So what I can do actually is build it up a little bit more. Just wrap it thicker like so and this should hold on to any scent that you have hold on to it nicely the reason why you put chenille on here instead of just putting the scent on the head which you could of course do um, Number one, it's gonna it's gonna you know um, fill that gap of the hook. But more importantly, it, it's so that you can put the scent on the chenille, and that's not gonna disturb the hair. Because if you put the scent on the hair, you're gonna mess up the hair. That eventually the hair is gonna become matted down, and it won't flow correctly. So that's that's why you put chenille on this way. That should be good. So now we're looking on this side, we're looking at the bottom of the jig. Now you can use an aspirin style head, you can use any really head you want, round head, uh, whatever you have, ball head, uh, walleye style head is another head that's good. So that looks good just like that. Um, so we're at the bottom of the jig, so we're going to tie in the white, white hairs, bucktail. The chenille also serves to flare out the bucktail. 
So I'm going to get myself a little clump. Some of your hairs might pull out. So I give a couple wraps and then I like to spread it out with my thumbnail just like that. Yeah. Didn't get those fibers in there. Okay, we have the white tied in, so we're going to flip this over and tie the upside. All right, so um, I like to split this up. It's going to be half, uh, half red and half orange bucktail. It's a red bucktail. to do two wraps and spread it around. It's a little tricky here, there we go. Eh, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know. The whole point of this uh, jig is that it's gonna be attract the attention with the color, so as long as we trim that up there. A little bit slippery, this bucktail. There we go. So that's the red. And now for the orange. Trickiest part sometimes is positioning this stuff. What I like to do, I sometimes cheat a little bit and trim it as close as possible, but then trim the edge off that way so it doesn't interfere with the wraps. Okay, the final color is going to be yellow, and that's going to be the top of the jig. So I got a little clump of buck tail here. I'm going to spread that out. My thumbnail. Doesn't have to be perfect. Make sure it's secure there. OK, 
covering a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to adjust this a little bit. Cover the orange a little more than I wanted to. Well, that's not going to matter. Let's just finish this. It looks good. And then we're going to whip finish. Finally, <clears throat> I'm going to put a nice coat <clears throat> of Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails. Just put that directly on there. A nice and secure. And that is the finished Jim's special jig. And uh, this works really well. I also, like I said, you can see some footage uh, when I went down to the bay recently and I used the uh, half ounce. This is the half ounce version of that. It's a bit beat up, but you can see it's got the same colors. I don't have the chenille on there because uh, I need that for my trailer. But uh, this, this was the ticket that day. Didn't, catch, didn't get a bite on anything else and I caught a keeper that day. So, uh, you know, who knows? I don't know what was going on. The fish weren't there. We're not, not uh, at the time. I don't know. So give this a try. Good luck. And uh, thanks for watching. All right. A crappie. A yeah, crappie. On the gym special with a gulp. I marked these fish. Try to get some more of these. Little guy. Oh, we got a ton coming through. Oh my God, what is on my screen? Looks like bait fish. That's probably what that crappie was following right there. Three feet, shad. A bunch of them. Another one. A better one. First fish, right? Jigging it a lot. Not a keeper. Ah, maybe. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let's see. That is exactly 18. He's going in. This was the ticket for today. A white uh, gulp on there with a Jim's special. It's a half ounce Jim's special.